Today I'm going to talk to you about the three buckets, the three main areas that our litigation department focuses on. And it's all geared 100% to Amazon sellers and business on Amazon. So the three categories where we really help sellers every single day is when you receive a cease and desist communication or a threatening letter from the Boris law firm, when you've been sued or your accounts have been frozen from a temporary restraining order and you just want to resolve it and go on with your life and go on with business. And the third category is when it's just time for you to stand up and fight. Either you've been sued and you have no choice or you've been so harmed by a big brand or by another seller's dirty tricks that it makes financial sense to go after them with nuclear weapons. So I'm gonna to talk to you about each of these three and it's gonna be really quick. When you receive a cease and desist communication or a letter from Boris, most of the claims are baseless, but you have to watch for interference with contract claims and all the claims should be evaluated to make sure that you're protected under the first sale doctrine and that your sales are okay or that you might be infringing. You shouldn't ignore them. If you receive a C&D or a Voorhees letter, contact us and we'll walk you through it. Number two, if you get sued and your account gets frozen and all you want to do is settle that issue and get out and get back to business, I think that's a really smart way of approaching any litigation is to resolve it and move on. But the first thing you need to do is to protect yourself. And that means serving a formal response to the lawsuit. You want to make sure that the other side, that they can't take a default against you and then negotiate hard. By serving that formal response to the lawsuit, you turn the tables on whoever started that lawsuit. Instead of you chasing them, once you serve that formal response, they have to get information to you and they have some court imposed deadlines. So the first thing you do is serve a formal response. The second thing you do is negotiate because then you're negotiating from a position of strength. We are insanely good at it. And if you want to learn more, give us a call. The third time that you really want to speak with either me or a member of our litigation department is when you've either been sued or someone has harmed you so much that you've decided to go after them. If you want to look up Rosenbaum Famolaro, the name of the law firm and the Dallas Cowboys, you'll see what I mean. Sometimes the big brands hurt you so much that you're like, you know what? I'm not taking this lying down. I'm going to fight and I'm going to go after them for damages. Sometimes you've been sued and you can't resolve it in a way that's fair to you. And then you also want to make them show the proof and fight back really strong. So those are three of the things that our litigation department does extremely well, specifically for Amazon sellers. And if you want to learn more, contact me for a free consultation. Reach out to Neil Flynn, the managing attorney of our litigation department. Look at what we've done. We are here for sellers in all aspects of your business, including litigation. So if you need us, we're here for you.